Hello, it's Jay Plays Games back again for another Ark Survival Evolved video. In today's tutorial video is all about taming. Taming is complicated, exhaustive. You need to know your stuff before you go ahead and try taming stuff. Otherwise, you will be sitting there for hours trying to tame a dodo. So here are my five top basic tips for taming. Before you go and tame every single dinosaur in the game, you want to make sure that you can actually put a saddle on it once you've tamed it. The easiest way to check this is by going to the engram screen and type at the bottom in the filter section, saddle. This brings up every single saddle for every single dinosaur in the game. It'll tell you how many engram points it needs to create the saddle as well as what level you need to be before you can actually use the saddle on the creature. So there's no point trying to tame a Mossa if you're only a level 10, because you're going to be need to level 75 to actually ride it. Also, some of these saddles can only be created using a smithy. So don't spend hours trying to tame a dinosaur until you know you can put a saddle on it and it's the one you want to ride around. Top tip two. If you're taming a herbivore, you're gonna need lots of mijo berries. Mijo berries are pretty much the most favorite berry for most of the herbivore dinosaurs. It increases the taming speed when they eat these. You're also gonna need a hell of a lot of narco berries, or make sure you unlock the engram narcotic. Both of these mean that the Dinosaur sleeps longer so you've got more time to tame it. Once you get a bit more advanced and you've unlocked the bow, you can master the Trank Arrow Engram. This is also the best way to make sure dinosaurs stay asleep while you're taming them. But be careful because sometimes it can hurt them when you use it. Top tip 3. While you're taming a dinosaur, don't stick around waiting for it to tame. Go and do all your other jobs that you'd be doing. Whether it's gathering materials, hunting for more dinosaurs, leave it alone. As long as it's got enough foods and materials inside it, it will be fine. Just make sure you leave lots of Lamijo berries and lots of Narco berries. The actual art of taming is a bit more complicated and there's loads to go through in terms of exactly how many levels it takes to tame a certain dinosaur. But that's for an advanced video that I'm going to be doing later on. For now, all you need to know is you're going to need a lot of narco berries, narcotics or trang arrows. And simply make sure that when you've knocked a dinosaur out, you can pop it into their inventory to keep them asleep while you feed them their favourite berry. Or if it's a carnivore, you're going to need to feed them lots of meat. Top tip number four. One of the basic mistakes you can make is using an axe or a pickaxe to knock out a dinosaur. You need to make sure these guys fall asleep, so you can't go around killing them with a pickaxe. So make sure you're using either your fists, a slingshot, or a bow arrow with the train arrows equipped. The easiest one I find to use is the slingshot. But make sure you're quick because as ever, whenever you hit a dinosaur, it'll either run away or attack you. And some of them are right speedy little buggers. Instead of running after them, just stand back and let them run off a little bit. After a few minutes, they'll forget that you were trying to tame them, and then you can go ahead and try and hit them again. Or if you're really lucky, they'll get stuck on a rock like this one. It's also advised to hit them in the head. That is the best way to unlock them conscious. If you're having trouble taming dinosaurs, make sure in the settings that you've equipped the taming up speed up to the highest point, just so that you get used to how to do it and what materials needed. But remember, when you go on a proper server, the taming speed won't be as quick as you're used to. Once you've tamed your animal, make sure you take out the majority of your berries. Just leave enough in there that they can feed. Top tip 5. If you go up to your dinosaur and hold the Y button, you've got different options that you can set the dinosaur. If you're fed up with it change, chasing you all the time, you can change the target range from it to low, to lowest, to high, 
to medium. You can also make sure it wanders around so you don't have to necessarily have it following you everywhere. You can also make sure your dinosaur attacks whatever creature or thing you're attacking. Just make sure you go to cycle aggression and put attack your target. If you want it to be a peace loving creature then you can target it so it doesn't do any of them things. And of course you can change the name of your dinosaur simply by holding the Y button and clicking on change name. And lastly we're going to have one quick bonus tip. Your dinosaurs gain XP so they level up too. You can click on whatever you want them to level up in whether it's health, stamina, food, weight, melee damage or movement speed. And don't forget they can be used as walking suitcases. You can put lots of items in them and they'll carry them for you. But be careful, if they get killed or attacked, you might lose your items after a little while. So there you go, that is my top five basic tips for taming. There is a lot more to discover about taming, especially to do with carnivores and which meats they prefer. But very early on, start off by taming some herbivores. These prevent the least danger of them killing you and they're the easiest ones to tame. Just make sure you've got lots and lots of berries. I'm going to be doing in-depth guides into each and every single dinosaur, what berries they need, how many they need. I've been Jay Plays Games, thank you very much for watching. Check out my other survival videos and I'll see you very soon.